Hello again. In this video what I want to do is get into how to change the theme of your site. Uh, so how uh, to adjust the 2010 theme which is what you see here. And This is the, the theme that is pretty much the out of the box theme for WordPress these days. Uh, if you install the theme from uh, GoDaddy or something to, or one of the other shared hostings, this is what you're going to see when you first go to your site. So from the dashboard, what I'm going to do is go into the theme settings. Um, if you remember the video from the dashboard, I'll go ahead and um, extend that out so I can see it. I'll go under appearance and into themes. And I've uploaded a few themes into this particular site, uh, just things that I've been playing with a little bit. In this case, so what I'll do is, you'll, you'll, again, you'll notice the 2010 theme is already activated. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll change the background and change the uh, um, change the background color and do some things real quick. You can upload a file. So say you want a faded background, so dark at the top, light at the bottom. You could actually upload a, a sliver or an image that will repeat across the site or you can have a, a static image that covers the whole site, so a background of, you know, picture of the, the mountains, things like that, or you can just change a color. In this case, we'll just change a color. Let's go with a, uh, let's do a red. Let's do something, like a burgundy, I guess, something to that effect. So now when I hit save, I go back to my site, and I'm just going to refresh the page. Now I've got that background color. As simple as that. And now let's go in and change the header of this particular site. And once again, you can upload an image. You can either upload an image that is uh, 940 by 198, or you can make adjustments once you've uploaded it. So in other words, if your, your image is 960 by 250, when you upload it, they'll, you'll actually have a tool to crop and size that image to become a 940 um, by 198. In this case, I, all I'm going to do is pick one of the, the uh, theme or headers that are already available here. We'll just go with the snowy theme. Uh, we'll refresh that and again go back to the site and upload. And now I've got a new header. So you can see how quick and easy you can start to change the look of your site. One of the other really cool things about WordPress is the fact that you can either upload free themes or actually buy themes. So in the back where I was showing you just a second ago, um, I can select install themes and just search and I can search. Let's look for anything that has orange as a tag. So these sites, when they've uploaded them, they put the word orange in them as a tag. And we're seeing that not all of them have orange, but you get the idea. I can actually um, preview any of these. And then we could install any of these as well. So you can actually see how this theme would look on your site and determine whether you like it. And those are, those are free themes. Um, in this case, let's go back to my manage themes. And since I've already got a few themes uh, uploaded in the back, these are all premium themes. These have all been paid for. Busy B is from WooThemes. Genesis is Studio Press. Inspire again WooThemes. And Striking is actually a theme that I got off of ThemeForest.net. There's about 3,500 themes for sale on ThemeForest.net. Um, not all for WordPress but a good um, portion of those are for WordPress. So you can find a lot of really cool themes. So I'm going to, for this, in this case, actually, let's do this. I'm going to preview this one. So you can see, um, again, I can see I've got test, um, probably something I've done in the past. I can now activate it from this, or I can close that. If I wanted to just activate it directly here, I could do that too. So now I've activated it. WooThemes has their own backend where I can upload uh, custom logos. I can do title text. Um, we could put in our Google tracking code. We can customize our RSS URL if we're using FeedBurner. We can do custom CSS. It has a contact form built in. A lot of really cool features. And that's just under the general settings. And we get into some of the other things. You can actually add ads and, and other stuff as well. So once again, back to the site. And I'm going to refresh. And now I've got a new 
site. Um, it has the, the little widgets and so forth on the side. Don't want to get too far into this, but just as a, um, a side note, these particular themes from Woo Themes, I can change colors as quick as that. So have fun with your WordPress site. It's the, you'll, you'll be able to do just about anything you want um, within limitations. Obviously, there's always, especially since it is the internet and it is software, you will come across some of the limitations on occasion. But for the most part, you should be able to design and create a website any way you want. Thanks again. Have a great day.